I first met our guest when he was working at Delphi, but you could add Valio and Ford Motor Company, a number of uh, other companies to his uh, resume and his experience. Uh, Probably the toughest thing he ever did was to move into Federal Mogul four years after they filed for Chapter 11 in what seemed to be uh, an endless Chapter 11 case for a variety of reasons. Uh, The CEO of Federal Mogul, Jose Maria Alapont is with us, and it is so nice to see you, and so nice to congratulate you and say, way to go. You have, uh, with the hard-working men and women of Federal Mogul, come out of Chapter 11 bankruptcy, and here you go. Thank you, Paul. Good morning. It's uh, always a pleasure to be back in the Detroit Motor Show, and uh, thanks for uh, your kind words and uh, wishes for the Federal Mogul people. They deserve it. It was a long, long road, a winding road, hmm. but here we are. We emerged, and we are back in good shape into the auto industry. And uh, you should know that Federal Mogul has been serving this industry for more than 108 years. Is that right? It's been that long, 108 years, Federal Mogul. And, uh, and frankly, the trouble began f- with an acquisition, from what I recall. Yeah, well, sometimes you need to look more carefully about the acquisitions. But when you do the right thing... The performance is there, and that is what you're going to see with Federal Model. With a $6.3 billion uh, leading global automotive supplier with uh, a portfolio of great products, uh, uh, you have nothing but uh, uh, clear skies and sunshine, so to speak, in your future. But you, of course, at Federal Mogul, will face the same challenges that all of the suppliers are facing right now. That's right. Uh, The auto industry has been challenging uh, all the time long and will remain very challenging. We know that 2008, especially on the North American market, is going to be uh, quite of a challenge. Uh, We see Europe uh, going stronger and Asia Pacific always growing. But uh, Federal Mogul is a very global company uh, with uh, uh, high-tech leading technology and innovation products. And uh, I think uh, with our uh, strategy for technology, competitive cost, and globalization of the company, uh, we should be able to face this uh, challenge successfully. Jose Marie Alapant with us. Uh, he is running Federal Mogul, took over uh, uh, about four years after the filing for Chapter 11. They have come out of the Chapter 11, which is a, a very exciting and good news, about 45,000 employees in 35 countries, and with 105 manufacturing sites worldwide, your home office is on Northwestern Highway in Southfield. Can we get maybe kind of a pledge from you (laughs) that you're going to have your home office stay here in Michigan? Of course. Uh, We love uh, uh, our headquarters in Southfield. It has been quite of a landmark uh, in the industry, as I said, uh, more than a century, and uh, we don't have any intention uh, to move our headquarters uh, from uh, Michigan. In fact, uh, within the globalization uh, we have uh, technical centers uh, all over the, the globe, but uh, our main technical center in uh, North America as well is in Michigan and Plymouth. Then we have Europe and we have Asia Pacific. What would be your, your top products that you're producing now at Federal Mogul and that you hope to uh, continue to produce and lead the market with? What is important uh, for Federal Mogul in uh, our global strategy is the fact that we are uh, leading uh, and very well positioned in uh, strategic products for the industry like powertrain energy, uh, bearing and cylinders, uh, uh, safety uh, products. And uh, we are also very uh, committed uh, to the new uh, alternative energies uh, to reduce emissions and to the environment. And as you very well know, Paul, that are the, the real challenges for the industry. Yeah, there's some huge challenges for the industry, but uh, what I know of you uh, and uh, your integrity, your team spirit, that the respect and trust that you have in your team and that they have in their leader, uh, you're all uh, being led to do the best. You've always been driven to do the best. Uh, Being a world-class team is extremely important. Uh, You can have uh, the right strategy, you can have uh, leading technological products and innovation, but at the end is having a world-class team and uh, the right drive, 
that is going to make you successful in that strategy. The story in today's newspaper uh, is about uh, the billionaire investor Carl Icahn, who we've all gotten to know pretty well from his uh, interest in various automotive uh, uh, companies, and he has a, a pretty good stake, 25%, now chairman of, uh, of the board, if you will. Uh, you work well with him. He says nice things about you. Well, uh, that's mutual. Uh, Carl and myself, we met for the first time back in 2004, and uh, our relation has been always very positive, and uh, we understood uh, the same way the future we wanted uh, for the company. And uh, yeah, you're right. Uh, we uh, This week, we had the first board of the new Federal Mogul, and uh, he was appointed an executive chairman. Uh, right now, as uh, has been disclosed, uh, he has already 25.1%, and uh, uh, he has an option uh, to increase that up to 75%. Uh, we will see in the next coming days. We will, and we'll be following you as always. And uh, congratulations to you and all the folks at Federal Mogul. Thank you, Paul. It's always a pleasure to be with you and the Detroit Motor Show. I'll tell you, it's a, it's a good positive story uh, led by the CEO, Jose Maria Laponte, as we continue at WJR.